I want to share with you a message that was given to me on September 1st of this year. <clears throat> the Lord is calling his bride or his potential bride to repentance. She's not ready for the rapture and he's wanting to prepare her. And as I had shared in a previous teaching, um, part of the reason the economy in this country is slumping and the Lord is allowing it is to get his bride back from the world, to get her mind off of the things of the world and onto him. So, um, you know, we have a lot of prosperity Christians in this country, a lot of people who talk about prosperity and uh, that you're not really a successful Christian if you don't have the faith to be prosperous. And nothing could be further from the truth. Because prosperity and money was the last thing on the Lord's mind in the New Testament. Um, in the Old Testament, it was sometimes a mark of favor from God. But in the New Testament, the Lord set a standard. He didn't choose to be born as a king or a prince, or to live like a king or a prince. He chose a simple life, an unpretentious life, uh, a life that was not entrenched in the things of the world. So he's looking for a bride that resembles him. And as I examine my heart every day before the Lord and I realize the areas where I fall short, I'm writing those things down for you as well because I think we can help each other by recognizing some things about ourselves and sharing them. So here's the message the Lord gave me, uh, September 1st, 2014. The beautiful people as a group are not my bride. I am looking for the lowly, contrite, and devout, those persecuted for the sake of righteousness. I am looking for those who resemble me. That is what my bride looks like. I want to give great hope to the lowly and marginalized. They are my beauties. They are the ones who most resemble me on the earth. I'm sorry to say it, but many of my Christians resemble the beauty queens of Babylon, or in your day, Hollywood. I know you get tired of me saying it, but this is not Hollywood. This is heaven. And the souls here bear no resemblance whatsoever to the ones you call great on this earth. Summon my bride and my people to repentance. I am by no means saying that a lovely person by the world's standards cannot be my bride. But in her personal life she will resemble me. Crucified, rejected, passed over, scorned bearing the scars caused by the callous contempt of others in her heart. My heart is drawn to such as these. They carry their pain with quiet dignity, yet from the outside you would not recognize them. These are my chosen ones, along with the little, the frail, the rejected, and the marginalized. I know I'm repeating myself, but this couldn't be more relevant, more important. I want all to know that what I'm looking for in a potential bride is not the well-groomed Christianese, rather the very, very little ones. Bring to me all those who have deemed themselves unworthy of my crown. Instill in them a quiet confidence that they indeed belong to me and are worthy. They are my bride. They are my chosen ones. And those who are still standing around waiting to be hired are very important to me. They will indeed receive the same wage as those who were chosen first and ahead of all the lowly and undesirable ones. So that's the Lord's message uh, right now to his bride and to his church. And I'm beginning a series on who is the bride of Christ, where I'm counting on the Holy Spirit to reveal more and more to me the attributes of those who are going to be raptured because they truly are his bride. They truly resemble him. So until then, God bless you. And thank you for listening. And do me a favor and <laughs> uh, put a like on this video if you like it, okay?
Thank you. God bless.